No one can tell me what? No. Mm. No. Mm. <laughs> Yes, it's me again. Yeah, and I'm back. What is up, you guys? If you're new here, check out more and more. And if you want more, I'll give you more. I will be splitting this video in two parts. Part one is just the face, um, the makeup, the products that I've used, and whatnot. And part two is the hair. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. I posted a picture on Instagram and I got like a lot of um, comments on the look so I'm gonna try and I don't know why I didn't do a video on the look I just woke up one day and was like mm, let's just make some makeup on you know do some nice curls and a good wig and let's take some pictures I've been getting a lot of comments on my hair um, I created a hair page more hair right there I'm gonna try and do what I did then there's the picture right there so let's see if I can replicate this look all right so for the lips um i'm gonna be going in with you know carmex i mean don't mind my nails people don't watch the nails okay don't watch the nails i'm stressing i'm stressing it's quarantine i can't do nothing about it okay i can't do nothing about it i've been using this on my skin and when i say my skin has just been it's been expressing to me that you know like this is true love it's true love so it's sea lavender and vitamin b3 for it's basically a glowing serum now i'm just gonna go in with some lotion i'm gonna go in with my primer and you guys may already know this but i'm going in with the l'oreal inflammable mattifying base yay yay like my skin gets like super oily um what i'm gonna do is actually bake my face first and then do my brows and then go with some foundation so i know i'm looking a little crazy and i got <laughs> the powder going everywhere but i've just set my face with this powder i'm really not a fan of it but i mean that's all i have for now so i'm gonna use it so i'm just gonna do my brows now i'm gonna use this um, I'm not going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I'm just going to use a pencil and this is in dark brown. I'm just going to fill in the sparse parts where, I mean, I couldn't really dye. So like mainly the tail and a little bit on the front here. And then just go in with some concealer, honey. I'm just going to take the Double Wear Concealer here and go in with the brows. This one's like really light. I mean, it's not as light as the um, Ellie Girl Pro Concealer Fawn that I use, but it gets the job done. I like this shade better. Like, look at that. Look at that. nice that looks nice so these are brows done so let's get onto the foundation i'm just gonna brush this all in my skin honey. you guys when i say that i'm eating like so much as well like i shouldn't be eating so much okay so next is uh concealer and i'm gonna be going in with the elegant pro concealer in the shade fawn but anyways as i've been saying i've been eating so much and I know I shouldn't be, but I have, and like the other day I was working out and I was just like, oh my goodness, I am so unfit, like I really was unfit, like I did one jumpy jack, I said, like, <laughs> no I don't think I took it to the forehead, I didn't take it to the forehead, a vital lipstick i'm sure you guys have seen this in like the beauty supply beauty hair supply store and i just look look at that look at that what we're gonna do now is go in with a damp damp 
beauty blender. I'm just gonna go in with some um, more of this powder. I really don't like this powder, you guys. When I say I, I put it on it, it gives me like a shine. I don't like the shine at all. Like, it's really not good. Um, it might work for some of you guys, but for me, I really don't like it. So, it's this powder that I did set my face with. I really don't like it. But instead of using a beauty blender and then just packing it on, I'm just going to use um, a brush and just put some of it in, on the lid. I'm going to put it in the lid a little bit and then just put it on my skin instead of using the beauty blender so now i'm just gonna go in with some more powder and this is the true match powder this is the new dude palette i can't believe i still have this palette i need to invest in proper contour and i'm just going with i'm just gonna go in with fine because i like that shade i feel like i can do my makeup without even looking in the mirror now for blush how to beauty nude palette a little bit of secret and love elite so for the eyes i think it was more like a like a pinky purple but like an off nude shade that i use for the eyes i don't i really don't remember but i'm gonna try um the modern renaissance palette and then go in with i think regular a red orchid so i've just put on some mascara this is the mega lash water resistant from technique and now i'm just gonna go on with some lashes okay so for bottom lashes now i'm gonna go with my with the elf right here who keeps blowing up my phone please now y'all know my new technique my new technique right Get the mascara, okay? Get the mascara and get your um tweezers. <laughs> gonna take it out and you're gonna tweeze it. You're gonna get the product on the tweezer. And this is what you're gonna use to pick up on the lashes, on your bottom lashes. So let me show you guys one eye. Do you guys see that? And that's both eyes done. No one can tell me what? No. Mm. I'm gonna go in with some highlight now. This is the Gold Digger highlight. Now for the lips, I went in with a brown pencil. So it's a nude lip gloss. It's called Bear All. Bear All. You get it because it's nude. Nude shade. Bear All. Cool. I'm gonna put this on the lid. Watch the magic happen, okay? Look at that. Look at that. So, this is it for the face section. But this is looking nice. Like, don't even say it, does it? I wish I was going out. The only place I'm going to is my backyard with my dogs. <laughs> I will be right back, okay? With the final look. With the final look. So that is it for this video, you guys. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!